Hey, here we are, May 4th, 2015. We begin the week with a bright full moon in Scorpio. Staring directly across the zodiac at the fresh new Taurus sun, the full moon heightens our collective response to the climate as the moon shines her warm light on a decaying, decaying planet. While these events are familiar and real to us, we must pause to see what has slowly changed as the seasons roll on. With the freshness of spring in the air, we may be able to finally take stock of the earth and how she is responding. Whether we were wrapped in a cloak of snow or sun as in the southern hemisphere, we may now be able to see the earth through a new set of lenses. Responsibility may be a key term for this period. The great scorekeeper Saturn, now in retrograde until August, may illuminate us to the simple demands we have wrought. Simple damage we have wrought, rather. Saturn provides the wake-up call to wrongdoings and misappropriated energy. This is a planet that rights the wrongs. And while his time may be slow in plotting in this regard, we have to realize the time it took to create this collective mess. Since our, prog our process has been slow and unwavering, we can expect the recovery to be equally as onerous. Took a long time to get here, takes a long time to get back out. Elsewhere, we see Mercury zipping along quite happily in his ruling domain of Gemini. With Mercury right at home in the sign of communication and curiosity, we can expect an abundance of cerebral activity and focus. This may be the case especially for fellow air signs Libras and Aquarius, and Aquarians, and of course Geminis. The other mutable signs, Sagittarius and Pisces, may feel his impact as they are also forced to delve into the details, but Virgos may feel the desire even more so as they are also ruled by this quick moving planet. Later in the week, Venus steps into Cancer. In keeping a watchful eye over the home and family, Cancer is known to be the nurturer or home of the mother, the moon of the zodiac. While Venus casts a vaguely similar tone while in Cancer, her greatest asset and influence there may come in the form of the decorative arts. With a strong propensity towards aesthetics, Venus may enable us to put time and effort into home improvements and embellishments. The watery realm of the recent full moon in Scorpio may cast this warm glow over our hearths. As we feel the responsible pull of Saturn urging us to repair, Venus may provide just the right backdrop for such an endeavor. Spring cleaning is perfect. Listen each week to Turning of the Wheel on iTunes podcast. Great guests, interesting topics, really good guests, information you can use. Write to me for a reading or call me at 978-393-1036 and connect with me. My website is turningofthewheel.com or chrisflisher.com. I have new videos coming out for the month of May, which will cover the whole month of May and be involved with each sign. Each sign will be covered in the astrology report for the month, so it's good to catch up on that. I'll have that posted in my newsletter, which you can subscribe to from my website or on, um, on Facebook as well. And I'll talk to you all next week. Take care.